Hello. Um, first video since my um, channel update. Um, so this was a proper model uh, review um, or finished model. Uh, first of all, off, I would just um, like to say thanks for the encouragement I got on the comments um, and also that I'm trying a new camera setup. Um, before I was just using the webcam on my um, laptop obviously that wasn't good for getting in close to the the model um, and it was um, wasn't the best quality uh, so you can see the proper finished details and everything on the model that may have been a good thing or not um, we will see, but if you can let me know what it looks like, um, it's getting darkish out in here now. Um, so I've got the lights on and I've got the flash on the camera, so it might change the qual uh, quality of or well, the colours of the um, model. Um, but yeah, so this is. I'm thinking um, this may be a series of videos that I'm going to do on my channel um, obviously it's going to be the title's already going to be up by the time I post it but I'm thinking like expanding my model horizons part one two three four bloody blah, blah, blah um, of different genres of models so obviously this one's first one's a helicopter uh, next one will be a plane um, car ship whatever um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, so this, I didn't intend to post this one up. I mean, I'm not overly, overall, overly happy with the model. Um, but because uh, I did say that, I think in the last videos that I'd only post stuff that I was really proud of. But um, but if it's going to be part of the expanding in my model the horizons. Um, and trying new techniques and dealing with stuff that you don't really deal with in armour um, I thought I might as well post it so obviously this is um, a helicopter it's um, Airfix's 172nd Westland Sea King R3 Mark 43 in sort of the Royal Air Force Rescue um, it's got Crab Rescue written on it um, I don't know, I tried to look see what that refers to but I, I couldn't find anything online um, so bring it in a bit closer um, so yeah so there's some things on this model I'm not happy with but that's mainly because I'm not used to it yet so far so um, obviously in armour you don't do a lot of clear work clear plastic work um, and the weathering is different it's kind of not really, but you can sort of slap it on on a tank, and everything kind of looks good. Um, but on um, an aircraft, I think it's a specific type of weathering. I mean, obviously they get really dirty. They can get really dirty, um, but um, it's obviously blown by the airstream when they're flying and yada yada. Um, but yeah, so the weather I'm not too happy with, the clear gas I'm not too happy with. Um, but yeah, uh, this is overall, it's a good kit. Um, it's got some good quality uh, detail. Um, the recessed panel lines are good. I'm not sure if this helicopter is supposed to have rivet detail, um, but it still looks good. Um, pretty much built this out of the box. I've got some um, interior photo etch in there because I thought the interior looked a bit simplified in detail but you can't really see it anyway when it's all buttoned up. So in there you've got some like instrument detail, you've got seat belts on all the seats. Um, there's a little sort of radio man or what, a navigator or whatever it is position in there um, 
that you can't see, but it's in there, I suppose. Um, I'd also got aftermarket decals to do this scheme because um, it wasn't in this scheme wasn't in the box art, and I thought I'd go for something a bit colourful, uh, which leads me on to the next point um, that. Um, <coughs> in the call out in the aftermarket decals it said the yellow yellow was gloss um, so um, most of the black was matte so that led, led me to the next challenge was, which is gloss work um, which I haven't done a lot of with other than the last car I did which is which was with a, I used a 2k gloss for that which came out pretty good, I was happy with that. Um, but the only other glosses I've got are like, um, I suppose they're acrylic polyurethane out of Leho one and a Tami one. Uh, but they don't, they're glossy enough, I suppose they're glossy enough to do your um, weathering on before you put, you, you would normally put your matte colour on, um, matte varnish on, but they're not glossy enough for a finish. Um, so I use Tamiya's uh, lacquer based clear, which gave enough gloss. Um, made a couple of mistakes with that. Um, you know, I was too sort of uh, quick to touch it when it, it looked like it was dry, but it's still soft, so I've left some fingerprints. But you can't see it too much, which isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, criticisms welcome. Um, any questions welcome. Um, the bit old, as far as the build goes, um, it went together pretty well. I. I had some problems which I think were caused by myself and not the kit's fault. I'm um, happy to admit that. Um, basically, I'd put in uh, done, obviously painted all the interior and went to put the two halves together. Um, and then I forgot I put the windows in. I hadn't put the windows in. So I had to get it all back open again, put the windows in, put it back together. Um, and there was big gaps mainly around the bottom and um, around, along this sort of spine here but I filled them in give me a bit of practice I suppose um, um, the, and that's another thing that I haven't really had to deal, deal with too much before I've done it a little bit obviously seen what um, but so that gave me practice with that. Um, but other than that, it's a good kit. The um, I'm surprised at the decals. The um, decals were really good because um, obviously using a micro set and micro sole for the decals, um, and basically the aftermarket decals were the Danger, the XZ589, the Roundel. Royal Air Force Rescue, this little triangle with a bed in, the round triangle with a bed in, um, this sort of arrow and the crab rescue. The rest of it was um, the Airfix decals, so the black bits here, the decals, um, all the little stencils, which are, again, another thing I haven't had to deal with too much with decals. Uh, decals on the rear prop um, and on the blades too um, and the airfix decals seem to adhere to the um, recesses and form into the recesses of the micro set alone whereas the aftermarket ones they were I think they were extra decals they took more goes for them to um, go into the the gaps and divots and stuff like that so I was quite Quite pleased by the FX decals. Um, what else? Yeah, as well as um, the yellow colour. I haven't done 
any models with a bright colour before, so doing panel lines, I didn't want to go with just the normal black or dark brown because I thought that would stick out too much. So I'd gone with my own mix of oil paint, which is like a it was a burnt umber with a bit of yellow and a bit of white to make sort of like an orangey brown. So I think that sort of fits in quite well. Um, so yeah, that'll be, that's pretty much the first sort of video there. Um, again, I hope you like it. Um, comments and criticisms and, you know, if you want, um, congratulations sort of comments would be great. Um, the next one, as I said, we're a plane, will be a plane. Keep that as a surprise what it's going to be. Um, but yeah, so that would be, I think, it, I think I'm, I think I'm going to call it, um, sort of expanded model horizons part one, obviously part two. But in between that, if I feel like I want to do another plane or another ship or car or or um, helicopter, and I've already done a expanding model horizons um, part for that particular genre, I won't do another expanding model horizon. I just do another model um, <coughs> unveiling. Um, if I'm particularly proud of it, but that's yeah, that's about it. I think. Um, just trying to think. Now well, that's it. I hope you like it. Um, feel free to subscribe or leave comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.